overflows. Create meditation out of sex. Create meditation out of sex. Lotus of love will blossom. Ordinarily we use the word sex and love as if they have an inner association. They have not. Love comes out only when sex has gone. Just as carbon is, they just as coal and diamond are different configurations of carbon. Coal is carbon as the primary element plus hydrogen oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur and diamond is an allotrope of carbon with C12 and C13. Same carbon element is in carbon as well as in diamond but their configuration is different. Both emerge from the soil through the process of mining. Their values are different. If I put it, the existential bioenergy is the seed or the carbon, then out of that sex comes in. And then when sex is transformed, its configuration changes with the element of awareness and meditation, then it becomes love. So if sex is the seed, love is the flower, and meditation is the fruit of it. Sex is the seed and love the blossoming of the seed into a flower. Really what you call or know as love is just a low, a foreplay and nothing else. It is just preparing the ground for sex act to happen. It is nothing but an introduction to sex, a preface. So, the more sex happens between two persons, less love will be there because then preface is not needed anymore. When sex becomes meditation, it flowers into love. And the flowering is a movement upward movement towards the divine. The more you go into meditation through sex or you are more aware during the act of sex, the less effect of sex will be there. The more you are meditative or a witness to the act of yours, to your sex act, meditation will grow out of it. It is the experience of millions of years of sages and awakened ones. And sex and love are the two major problems that everyone faces. The unsuccessful, the successful, the rich, the poor. Everyone faces that problem. It will not be when meditation grows, a new door will open, sex will wither away one day. Remember it is not sublimation. It will be just like the dry leaves of the tree have fallen. The tree never even knows that the leaves are falling. The tree is totally unaware. If you understand it, autobiography of a tree, 
it never knows or aware of the leaves falling. In the same way, you will never know that the mechanical urge to sex is withering. Once you are within the energy field of an awakened one, you will observe that the mechanical urge towards sex is withering away. You have not done anything for this, yet the mechanical urge for sex is no more there. Create meditation out of sex. Make sex as an object of meditation. Treat it as a temple and you will transcend it and it will be transformed. Then sex will not be there. Certainly there will not be Certainly, there will not be suppression or any sublimation. Sex will become just irrelevant and meaningless. You have grown beyond it. It makes no sense to you now. It is just like a child growing up. Now, toys are meaningless for him. He has not sublimated anything, he has not suppressed anything, he has just grown up, he has just become mature and out of that maturity the toys are meaningless now. They are childish and now the child is no longer a child. In the same way, the more you meditate, the more you are aware the less sex will have an appeal for you and by and by, spontaneously, without any conscious effort to sublimate, sex energy will have a new source to flow to. The same energy that has once flowed through sex will now flow through meditation and your awareness. And when it flows through meditation, the divine door is being opened for you. I am neither against sex nor in favor of love. You have to transcend both. Meditate on it. Transcend it. By meditation, I mean you have to pass through it fully alert and aware. You must not pass through it blindly, unconsciously. If you pass through a door unconsciously or blindly, you will stumble here and there. When you know that this is a door, then you can pass through it without any problem. Great bliss is there. You can pass by it blindly and miss it. This blindness has to be transformed. You must become open-eyed. With open eyes, sex can take you on the path of oneness or on a great inner voyage. There is no such thing as sex energy. Energy is one and the same, just as both coal and diamond are made out of carbon, but their configuration is different. Coal is carbon as the primary element, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur. Diamond is an allotrope of carbon, C12 and C13. Both are atoms or elements, both carbon and diamond are elements or atoms, but different configurations. So sex and meditation, both are co different configurations of the same existential bioenergy. That is, once you understand this difference, 
if I put it meditation is allotrope and sex is a configuration of carbon, the basic element. Sex is an application of life energy. So there is no question of, sub of sublimation. If life energy flows in another direction, there is no sex, but it is not a sublimation. Instead, it is transformation. And the, the process of transformation is important in life. Sex is natural, biological flow of energy, and indeed the lowest application of it, lowest application of it. It gives you roots, but it is not the blossoming. It is natural because life cannot exist without it. The plant cannot grow without the soil. So it is the lowest application, but very important application in the life of the growth of a plant. It is natural because life cannot exist without it. So too, without the soil, the roots will not grow and there will not be any possibility of life to exist. And the lowest because it is the foundation, not the peak. You cannot, you have to build a structure. You cannot continue to build the foundation throughout your life. Sex is the foundation. Love is the structure that goes on on the sound form. foundations. The stronger the foundation is, the stronger will be the building. When sex becomes the totality, the whole life, it is then whole life is just a waste. It is having a foundation and going on laying the foundation without ever building the house for which the foundation is built. In order to build the house, you build a foundation and a sound foundation. Sex is the foundation and on that you have to create the structure, decorate it and make it as a mention. Sex is just an opportunity for a higher transformation of life energy. As far as it, it goes, it is all right. But when sex becomes the whole, when it becomes the sole outlet for the life energy, then it becomes destructive. And that is the problem of each one of you. It can only be the means, but not the end. Foundation is the means, but the structure is the end. Foundation is necessary because you need the structure. And means are meaningful only when the ends are achieved. When a man abuses the means, the whole purpose is destroyed. If sex becomes the center of life as it has become, then means are changed into ends. Sex creates the biological foundation for life to exist. Sex creates the biological foundation for life to exist and continue. It is a means, and means should not become the ends. Enough for now.